Alright, so alright, so folks, so we have a, a HP here that when the charger is connected we have no power. So let's flip this around. When we so when we connect the um the charger, let's flip this around. Alright, so it's a HP HP so um, so the thing is here is the charger right? so when we connect it I connect it now we'll press we have no power so we're gonna look at the the motherboard now if we have any um shards or so I flip it back around now Flip it. All right, so here's the thing. No, so this this heat sink was on these um, those coils right there so you see in the coils right there um yeah so that heating was on the coils right there so the problem is i did some testing and realized we had a short to ground right here what about here I did some testing had a short to ground sure this mosfet um was in protection mode um, so when I remove the um, the heatsink from the cars here, I realize that this capacitor here, see this capacitor, do you see? Looked away. So I did. Um, I took my I took my multimeter and did a continuity test on it and realized that 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 capacitor was bad by the looks of it you can see that something is definitely wrong with it so and I did um, I did the test I realized that that capacitor was, was bad so I'm just gonna hit it there And see see that that's a bad so what I'm gonna do now is turn on the solder and iron heat it up and remove that capacitor and see if the, the shot to ground here is gone once that is gone then um, we can replace this capacitor with a, a known good one and yeah the laptop should power on so if you're facing this problem on this hp um and there's a model number of the motherboard right here mm -hmm. and it's a hp and this just this this model So it's a HP. Alright, so it's a HP Pavilion um, 17-G192NR. Alright, so that is the model. So if you're having the same problem on the model, yeah, you can just do that check and see. Alright, thank you. Right, so there it is folks, I removed the, the capacitor of the motherboard, that's the one that I suspected was bad by the look of it and testing it with the multimeter and see it. 
The laptop is on now and working. Um, let me show you the board. So, right there was there was a body capacitor right there. And you can, by the looks of it, right there. The looks of it, you can see that I removed it. I'm gonna put um, a known good one there, but for now, for testing purposes, just remove it and try it and try that the shot was not there with the multimeter and it is gone. So we're good. Wow. <laughs> so as mentioned if you have this problem it's a easy um, fix if you have the right tools so that's it guys